Hey, what is up everybody? In this video, we are taking a look at these, the brand new Go Run 9 from Sketches. Hey, what is up everybody? And welcome back to 40 Runs. How are we all doing, people? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, have I converted you to Sketches? Please tell me I've converted you. Which model have you gone for? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't, why not? Do you think they're for old people? Mm, it's not actually true. And the other thing uh, that I've seen a lot of people saying is that they're still difficult to get hold of. But I'm going to give you a good example. This Go Run 9 is available on the UK website. You can get it for £117. So shop around, people. Look around because these are becoming more available. They're on some of the other websites like... Um, sportshoes.com is not a plug for them uh, pro direct running have some of the, the sketches on there so have a look around because they're appearing more and more um, and i think it's worth a look because they offer something kind of awesome versus some of your usual brands now this is not a paid effort for sketches and actually these shoes i purchased myself these weren't sent to me by sketches i'm really lucky that i get sent a lot of shoes by sketches but i actually grabbed these ones myself but why did i grab these well firstly i wanted them to fit into the rest of my collection i've got but also i do love a daily trainer from sketches and the go run 9 fits perfectly in the middle of the daily trainer lineup from sketches and we'll probably do a video about daily trainers from sketches because you've got like the max road 5 which is like the highly cushioned one and then you've got the razor excess which is sort of pushing towards that sort of speed um, and then you've got the razor and all that kind of stuff but we'll get into that on another video um, they made some cool changes to this shoe, so let's get into the stats and features first before we get into how it feels and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so £117, like I said, and it is available uh, on the UK uh, website. I don't know uh, where you live, but have a look around. Uh, we've got a very cool pull tab on the back, by the way. Um, we've got the Hyperburst Midsole, uh, which is the super critical nitrogen-infused midsole, now famous from Skechers. It's just lightweight, and talking of lightweight, let's do the weights. Um, we're going ounces, people. 8.9 UK nine and a half and in grams we've got 252 grams so it's super lightweight to shoot uh, in terms of fit if it's true to size we've got a six mil offset um, we've got a uh, breathable uh, engineered mesh upper we've got 34 mil stack in the back by the way 28 in the front uh, we've got M strike um, zone which promotes efficiency in each stride it is a um, sort of rocker based shoe i would say if you i don't know if it's not going to come on camera basically if you put the shoe like that on a flat ground it does go up there and it does go up there so it is rocker um uh, set up with the m strikes you're getting a very nice heel to toe transition there's loads of goodyear rubber on the outsole it's decoupled so again it creates that really nice uh, movement between uh, heel to toe so it's not like a, a flat piece of uh, eva foam it's been decoupled so the movement's a little bit more natural which is kind of cool um, I've mentioned it fits true to size. You've got some uh, structure around the eyelets. The tongue is not gusseted, uh, but there's a little bit of foam on there, so you do get a nice lockdown. There's enough foam around the um, heel area to give you that comfort. Got a bit of a heel counter on the back there to add a little bit of stability, but uh, all Skechers shoes are nice, day, or all daily trainers are nice and wide, so they create plenty of uh, stability in terms of the width of the shoe. And I think that is about it. Okay, so where does this fit in? So daily trainer, it is, um, you've got the max cushion there uh, with the max road, and then you say you've got the razor excess. This is a sort of um, bread and butter entry point into sketches in terms of their daily trainer. The Hyperburst midsole is um, a little bit softer than the razor shoes, but it's still firmer than the um, max road five. It is noticeable, the, um, I don't know, the low, to ground feel it's quite firmer than than you're probably expecting from the hyperburst um the ride is not as sketchy as, as i'm used to uh which is why i would recommend and i'll put this straight out there now not to get this shoe uh, i would either go for the max road five if you're looking for a daily trainer to do longer miles or i'd go for the razor excess if you're looking for a daily trainer but you want to do a little bit of faster work in it i think the problem with this shoe um in terms of where it fits is that the max row five is so good and the razor excess is so good so there's nothing wrong with this shoe as a daily train in fact actually it's a it's a i think an improvement over the previous versions um you know the rocker sensation and and the grip from the outsole is fabulous uh, that's going to uh, sort out any sort of um what's the best word wear and tear issues that people think that you have with sketches the upper is breathable it's lightweight fits true to size all that kind of stuff but I wouldn't recommend it for you if you're looking for a daily trainer from Skechers. 
I would go for the Max Row 5, which is your highly cushioned daily trainer, which is stable because they've got the H plate in it, or the Razor XS if you're looking to do something with a little bit more speed in it. And this is the problem with the shoe. Sketches have now created so many awesome shoes that they're almost cannibalizing the other shoes in the lineup. And that's the thing. So it's a bit of a shame that I can't really recommend this shoe to you, but I don't feel like I'm doing sketches a disservice because I'm recommending their other shoes, if that makes any sense. There's probably better daily trainers out there in terms of sort of traditional daily trainers. Uh, this is a good alternative to a Pegasus 38, but instead of a Pegasus 38, I'd still tell you to go and get the Razor XS over this, and that, I think, is the million dollar problem. Um, so yeah, so there you go. It's a bit of a short video because I wanted to cut to the chase because I didn't want to waste too much of your time on the shoe because it, although it is a good shoe, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It does everything you'd want from a Skechers. I just think you'd be better off in the Max Road 5, check my videos out, or the Razor XS, check my video out. So there you go, Skechers. You've created a problem from yourself for yourself. You're basically making too many awesome shoes. Thank you.